Hello YouTube. Howdy Rupan, the man in the wild here. And it's about 4.30 in the morning. I'm heading down to Ikakas to meet up with Mr. Neil Sukram from Southwest Adventures. We are going to do a collab video on the wetlands in Ikakas and uh, the various birds and animals that you might find down there. So stay tuned for that. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. The Ikakas Lagoon is a beautiful place. I'm just giving you a preview of some of the beauty that you'll be seeing in this video. Stay tuned. So we are within the estate here and as you can see no street lights so we are totally dependent on the vehicle's light to light the way if we turn off the lights you will see how dark it is inside of here <laughs> it's really dark This is probably one place you don't want to have a breakdown. Within the coconut estates of Ikakas, we have the great Ikakas Lagoon. This is where Neil and I are going to meet up. So I'm going to give him a call for him to know that I'm here and we're going to get an early start. We want to get in before the birds start to come out. Yeah, morning again, Neil. Just, right, um, just pass the um, first one, so I pull up on the side there. Yeah, alright. I, I, I in Mongi. I, I should be in about, about five minutes for the most I should be. Alright, no, yeah. no problem. Looking out for you. Yeah, good. The road passes directly through the middle of the lagoon. The lagoon is on both sides of the road. But there isn't much light for me to show you what it looks like as yet. Stay tuned. Later in the video, I will show you the beauty of this great Ikakas Lagoon. Hi, good day YouTubers. My name is Neil Sukram from Southwest Adventure. Feel free to check out my channel on YouTube, Southwest Adventure. Today I'm doing a collaboration with Hardy Rupan, the man in the wild. Right, this is an interesting one, so stay tuned. Neil and I just took a 20 minutes hike through the mangrove forest to get to our hideout. We wanted to get here early before the birds start to awake. I will give you an idea of the hike on our way back out. It was way too dark for us to film on the way in. The first signs of the birds awaken are these green parrots sleeping on top of the mangrove trees. The swamp is slowly coming to life. The purple gallinule is also awake. It ruffles its beautiful plumage and then heads out for an early morning hunt. And as the morning progresses, even more beautiful birds come to light. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. A lone juvenile Scalatibus ruffles its feathers and gets ready for the day. And soon we start to see more of these juvenile scalatibus. The juvenile's color has started to come in. They are not totally scarlet, but they are getting there. The juvenile scalatibus take their time with their early morning feeding and even a bath. It was so amazing to sit here and watch these beautiful birds. If you would like to take a tour to see these beautiful birds, feel free to contact Mr. Neil Sukram. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. This beautiful and amazing bird is called the tricolor heron, and it is found here in the Icarcus Lagoon. And this beautiful little fellow is called the yellow chinned spine tail. The 
the night heron is awake and ready to start his day. These Southern Lapwing is the early morning alarm clock in the swamp. The beautiful yellow-headed blackbird is a local resident of the swamp. Among these juvenile scalatibus, we can see the beautiful black belly whistling duck. The great egret is the largest of the egrets that is found in Trinidad and Tobago. The black neck stilts are very social and can be found among all the other birds in the swamp. This is a maiden pair of wattled jacana. They are a very common swamp bird in Trinidad. And this beautiful fellow is the Pied Water Tyrant. The Cormorant is a large, beautiful webbed feet bird. That was a look at just a few of the many birds that could be found in the Great Icacus Lagoon. There are also many beautiful plants in the Great Icacus Lagoon, like this beautiful water lily. We are now going to take a hike back out from our hidden vantage point. We had hiked through this piece of mangrove in the dark with limited light as to not scare off the birds. We even had to cross this dead mangrove tree in the dark as using light would have scared off the birds. But it is now much easier as it is daylight. Mangrove trees are very strong and even this dead branch supports my weight with ease. These streams may seem shallow, but can be over 10 feet deep in certain areas. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. After our hike, we stopped off for a bit of natural refreshment. Neil has excellent coconut skills. This is going to be so refreshing. After our refreshing rest up, we are now going to take a drive to experience the beautiful scenic view of the great Icacus Lagoon. So stay tuned. The most beautiful views and experience of this video is up next. If you would like to experience any type of nature tour down in the great Icacus Lagoon, you can contact Mr. Neil Sukram from the YouTube channel Southwest Adventures. I will leave a link in the description to his channel. I will also leave a link to his collab video so you can see this adventure through his eyes. And now let's just experience 
some of the beautiful views of the great Ikakas Lagoon. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.